What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech, and this little key in my hand is your security system. This is your bulldog when it comes to protecting your online accounts. This is an NFC and a USB key that'll really keep your password safe. This is from a company called GoTrust. I reviewed their IDEM card last week, and I wanted to show you guys something different. This is perfect for those that just want something on their keychain that maybe don't want to spend the extra cash to get a Bluetooth and ID badge. Well, just because you don't really need it, but if you haven't seen my review on the IDEM card, just go ahead and check it out it's a fun little video but this is their key this one can be placed on your keychain and can be with you at all times to keep your password safe to keep your online presence safe as well and the cool thing about it it is waterproof so if you leave it on your keys you drop your keys in well maybe the toilet you're not going to ruin your key but let's go ahead check it out and set it up together What's going on YouTube? This is Jabber Tech, and if you don't have one of these two-factor authentication keys on your keychain, you're really doing something wrong. As someone who has been hacked, as someone who's had my bank account hacked, my Gmail hacked, I really enabled two-factor authentication on just about everything. And with a product like the IDEM key from GoTrust, this is only a $20 item. It really makes logging into those websites super, super simple. As we all know, your phone number could get hacked as well. If you are using something like Google Voice or you're using a virtual number, that can get hacked. So you really don't want to enable two-factor authentication just with a phone number, just with a text. You want to get yourself a $20 product just like this. Keep it on your keychain and you're good to go. This will work on Mac. This will work on Android. This will work on PC. Thanks to the NFC chip, pairing is as simple as just tapping and going. So let's go ahead. I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to show you how to set it up. And I'm going to just tell you a little bit about it and why you really need to get one of these FIDO certified keys from GoTrust on your keychain. Trust me, you want to keep yourself safe. You want to keep yourself secure. But let's just go ahead and take a look at it, open it up and see what it's all about. This is the actual key itself and you can tell that it is quite small. It is quite quite light so you can keep this on your keychain and not really worry about it at all. This is waterproof so you can dump it in a glass of water and it's still going to work. Water will not damage this so don't worry about keeping this on your keychain if you get stuck in a rainstorm. So this is what it looks on your keychain. It really doesn't add all that much bulk. It really is something that you can just connect and forget about it on your keys. The first thing that you want to do is insert the key into your computer and this way it'll download the drivers, it'll recognize that it's a FIDO key and it'll do everything necessary to set it up for you. You can also set up your keys using your phone and a compatible browser. You do not have to use a computer if you don't want to, but for right now, for demonstration purposes, I have it installed in my computer and it's all set up and ready to go. So to show you how to turn it on, right now I'm inside my Facebook settings here and you want to go into security and login and then go to two-factor authentication. So let's go to manage keys here and once you click on that it'll show you if you have any keys already installed and you can just add a new key so let's just go ahead and select add a new key once you select add a new key you do have to touch on the blinking nfc light and this will let the computer know that you actually are a person and the key is with you once you do that you'll see i have successfully added my key already so here it is, I just added my GoTrust ID FIDO2 key right over here. So this is a great way again, just to sort of protect yourself and you can add a bunch of keys. So if you have a few keys, you can just sort of add them and that can act as your backup as well. So now your key is added. It was really that simple. It took less than 30 seconds to do. Now I'm gonna show you the same thing. If you go to your Google account, you do have to go to your security settings right over there. Once you're in security, you'll see you have two-step verification down here. Click on that. Once you log in with your password, the same thing, you'll see all of your keys right down here. So let's go ahead and add a new key and I'm gonna use a USB or Bluetooth. In this case, it is a USB key. Click on next and then the light will start blinking again. Just tap it lightly with your thumb, allow, and then your key will be added in less than 10 seconds. Let's create a name for this. I'm gonna call this my IDEM key. Click on done and now you're done. Anytime someone tries to log in or you try and log into your account from a different computer that you haven't already logged into using this key, you'll be prompted to add it again. And it's just a safe way to keep your account safe and secure. Just to show you how simple it is to set it up on your phone, if you don't wanna use a computer again, you do not have to. I'm in Twitter right now and the same thing, I have to go into my settings, go into my account and then from account, tap down here on security. Once you're in security, you'll see you have an option here for two-factor authentication. And then right down towards the middle, you see security key. 
tap on security key, re-enter your password, and then it's gonna start you through the process. And again, I'm gonna select NFC because that's the type of key this is. Take your GoTrust ID key, just go ahead and hold your key to the back of your phone and you'll see you're all set. Again, that took less than five seconds really. Select got it and you'll see here security key is enabled. So now the next time we log in using an unknown browser or even using the same browser that you haven't saved, it's gonna ask you to just tap your security key. So let's select use key with NFC. Hold the key to the back of your device and then voila, you're already logged in and you're good to go. Just to go over the two differences between the two products from GoTrust for your two-factor authentication, the iDIM card is about 60 bucks. Now this is also an ID badge, it has Bluetooth and it has NFC. So this one definitely is a multifunctional card and it's also for those that want to be a little bit more, I'm going to say technical, a little bit more geeky because you can just keep it on your person at all times. Put it in your wallet, it's thinner than a credit card, and then when you want to log in somewhere, all you have to do is tap on the little blue strip there, and it's going to activate the card, and then you'll be able to log in. Whereas the GoTrust key is a little bit more affordable for just about everybody at 20 bucks. This is a definite win, and it just slits on your keychain very nicely. It's actually a bit smaller than my actual keys, and it's not heavy at all. It's super, super lightweight, and this does use NFC as well. So all you'd have to do is tap on your phone and then it'll log you into the sites. Or if you're on a computer, plug this into your computer, get an adapter, you can actually switch this over to a USB-C. So you'd be able to use it with all your USB-C devices. So again, for $20, it's just a different form factor and really just depends on what your needs are and how geeky you wanna be. I already think that I'm pretty geeky. That's what everyone tells me when they see the card and then they see all these little trinkets on my keychain, but it is what it is. That's who I am and I'm not gonna fight it. I think you'd be doing yourself an injustice if you don't pick up one of these Fido keys and at only $20, again, it's a very affordable way to keep yourself protected. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. I really appreciate you watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.